Here on BTN Live with the Fighting Illini of Illinois and Lovey Smith. Here you see the numbers for Coach Smith. Nine starters coming back for him. Kendrick Foster showed off the wheels last year. A lot of speed out of the backfield. They did lose a lot, particularly up front on the defensive line, looking to end what has been a difficult stretch for this program. Six straight losing seasons in conference. That is the most in school history. Lovey Smith, the head coach of the Illini, is here with us now. And coach, I know you want to reverse that trend and you want to do it really soon. You look, though, at year one on the field. I know the record wasn't what you wanted it to be, but year one is about establishing a culture. It's about seeing progress behind the scenes that others may not see. Where do you feel best about the program now compared to where it was a year ago? Well, the way we look at it, I know you you know, you know listed a long stretch, but we have one uh, losing season. We're only going to attribute one to you. That's yes. all we're going to do. Uh, we didn't get enough accomplished last year, right. but you have to have a starting spot. It, it takes a little time to change a culture, and we're in the process this year, too. We may, we've done the things, I think, off the field to, be, to put a better product on the football field this year. Recruiting class coming in, and another off-season as much as anything. We made a lot of strides, you know, doing the off-season. Where specifically? Like, what's better now I'm, than it was a year ago? Well, I'm talking about uh, what you can do. You can't play football, but you can get stronger. You can get faster. Just learning more about uh, what we expect in everybody's role, you know, being a football player, that's what I'm talking about. Coach, how about scheme-wise on defense? Anything after a year in the college game that you, you, you changed a little bit defensively? Well, we, we, need, we needed to tweak, and we knew that our, our defense a little bit that's more geared towards, you know, option football as much as anything. We feel like we've done that. Another offseason of just studying the game and, and the differences, but we feel like our – I mean, we'll never change exactly what we do defensively. We feel like we're more equipped now to really helm, uh, you know, the offenses that you see on a weekly basis. Coach, you, you started spring ball much earlier and probably ended before a lot of places begin. And part of that was to get stronger in the weight room. Did you see the jumps that you needed to see during the offseason as far as offseason conditioning and strength and conditioning is concerned? Absolutely. And just to go over one area, you know, the squat is a exercise that we put a lot of stock into. You know, last year we had a couple guys that could squat over 500 pounds. We have 20 now that can. Mm -hmm. So wow. uh, Joey Bose, our strength coach, has done an unbelievable job with our players. But it's just not in that one area. All areas we got, we've gotten stronger. We need to do that to be able to handle the Big Ten season. You spoke earlier today. You mentioned a new facility, which I'd, I'd like you to tell us a little yes. bit about. But also how recruiting is different today than it was a year ago today. Well, uh, well, the, the uh, you know, last year I, I thought I knew, you know, I know it's, it was year-round, but it really is year-round. Right. There's an awful <laughs> lot. It starts a lot earlier, uh, you know, guys committing. Uh, so that's why being able to get into recruiting a little bit, you know, has to help us in the long run. But we see the things we need to do to, we feel like, and not we feel like, we have our guys on campus now, our freshman class, so we have an idea who they are. It's a good class. A lot of them will help us early. But we need to have a better class coming in this year. Uh, nowadays in the summers, they go around. There's a college tour. And for them to see eventually our facilities that are as good as everyone else's should help a lot. Tell us about that new facility. Well, that's what we have. We have a new one. We're talking about everything. Coaches' offices, training room, uh, player lounge. You know, all of the things that everyone else has, the University of Illinois will eventually have. You know, great academics, there's a lot to offer, but we were behind with our facilities. That won't be the case anymore. People can't use that against us anymore. Chase Crouch, I thought before he got injured last year, really was a spark to that offense, his yes. ability to run the ball and also throw. Give us a little update on whether he's going to be 100% and what he will do for this offense as a starting quarterback. First off, Howard, just, I mean, there is a leader of every team. He's our leader, undisputed leader. But what he'll bring, more long of what we would like to be. Uh, we want an athlete there, a guy that can beat you a little bit with his legs. Uh, we're teaching him how to slide. He needs to get that down. <laughs> but, and we think he can make the, the throws he needs to, too. You know, good size, football junkie off the field. I think you need that, that guy to let everybody know what direction we're going. He's that, really excited about him. He missed a lot of time physically, but mentally he really made a lot of strides. 
I know you didn't have a lot of years coaching in the two-a-day system of, of college. Obviously, your experience mm -hmm. is more NFL. What do you think of the new changes in the practice structure? Well, it's just uh, really coaches coming more along what I believe. Right. Even in NFL, I was never a big two-a-day guy there. I think you can get what you need done. One hard practice, one physical day, along with walkthroughs where you take, you know, those meeting rooms out on the football field. So we haven't had to adjust an awful lot. Plenty of time to get our players ready. Coach, when, when you start to think about the toughness and the identity of this football team, where does it have to lie? Where does it have to start? I know you talked about Chase being an unquestioned leader quarterback, but it's hard for a quarterback to really set a team no. and make a team physical. No, the leadership kind of starts with him. The toughness has to start up front. Pretty simple. Both our lines. We lost a lot, you know, on the, the graphics early. We have a lot of linemen that we lost up front. Uh, but we have, we're really excited about some of the new players. Jamal Milan taking another step. Sean Adesanya, a guy that people don't know an awful lot about. Nick Algaretti has had, has had an outstanding offseason. We have Kristen Delario that's here. So it has to start up front. We feel like that will happen. And we'll have a couple of spots that we need to see, you know, as we go into training camp. Coach, you talked a little bit about him when you were speaking to the media as a whole, but Mikey Dudek, and you mentioned, hey, I didn't see him play because he's been hurt the last couple of years. We all saw him play. He was phenomenal. I mean, he was one of the best wide receivers in the Big Ten as a true freshman, and now he's missed two straight years. Give us a sense of where he is physically and what kind of impact you think he could have on this team. Physically, he's back to his, you know, his old self as much as anything, from what I'm told. Um, I just know you talk about toughness. You want toughness at every position. He's a tough guy. Strong, athletic, fast, a lot of speed. He, along with, of course, Malik Turner that we have here representing us, should give us a, a good one-two punch at the wide receiver position. But it's about scoring points. Mikey Dudek will help us score a lot of point, points. We'll take a, you know, put him on a snap count through training camp, but he'll be good to go. What was the biggest thing you learned in year one back in college? And that was the thing we were talking about with you last year. Hey, it's been a long time since I've been in this world. What was the thing that stood out to you as, wow, this has changed the most dramatically? You mentioned recruiting earlier, so aside from that. Yeah, recruiting, of course, is different. But I wouldn't say, I think just what I knew. It's hard winning football games at any level. Uh, there's great football in the Big Ten as much as anything. We see what we need to do to be able to start winning football games. Is there anything from the NFL that you would bring with you if you could change some rule or some practice that would make the college game better? You know, Coach, I, you know, I kind of like the rules that we have right now. I uh, can't really think of, of anything. You know, maybe uh, at the end of the game, uh, the clock doesn't stop on uh, first downs like we have in college NFL. Of course, at the end of the game there, it doesn't. Besides that, not much. How about Dre Brown? We talked about Mikey. Dre had some significant injuries the last he couple did. of years as well. Where is he, and can he? will he be able to help you this year? Well, Dre is not as far along as, as uh, Mike Dudek is, so we'll kind of see how it goes with him. He's still, you know, working himself back to, you know, top form. Uh, this will be an important training camp for him. Yeah. Lovey, it's interesting. We were talking with Tom Allen earlier, and he's in a similar situation about starting with a program and trying to kind of build it and mold it into what he wants it to be. And we talked a lot about identity. What do you want the identity of Illinois football to be? I mean, I, I guess ideally this year, but a couple years down the line, when people say Illinois is about X, what do you want X to be? Well, I, I think in stages a little bit. I mean, I, um, you know, offensively, it is about scoring points. And, uh, you know, it's a spread offense in college football now. At the end of the year, we were doing some things. Against Northwest in the last game, we were able to do some things, putting these pieces together. We want to be known as a tough football team as much as anything. Defensively, it's about taking the football away. And believe me, we put an emphasis on special teams. It's just not lip service to it. I love you, Smith, the head coach of the Fighting Illini. Coach, thanks a lot. Thanks for having Look me on. Look forward to watching your team.